Hello, what's up, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. I make videos on fashion, travel, and environmentalism, and I have a little bit of a cold, so ignore it if you can hear it in my voice, okay? I have just come back from backpacking some countries in Central America. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I actually came back a little bit earlier than expected. This is a packing video, so if you want to hear about why I ended my trip a little bit early, you can stick around, I'll talk about it at the end of the video. But for now, let's talk about what I packed, let's talk about what I loved, let's talk about what I regretted. vibe is long johns with comfy socks and a tank top because my body doesn't know what season it is. Little heaters on because ever since I've been home, I just... If you're new to my channel, you might not know that I was just in Central America. My plan was to do Guatemala, Costa Rica, and Panama. I ended up doing Guatemala and Costa Rica. So if you want, you can check out my vlogs and you can see everything that I got up to. It was a really amazing trip. Last year I did Southeast Asia. This year I wanted to start chipping away at some of the Central American countries. I knew I wouldn't have time to do like a whole long trip like I did last year, but I really enjoyed going. I was gone for about a month and my plan was to be gone for about a month and a half, so. I traveled with just a carry-on and a personal item, just like I've done in past trips. That is the way to go, guys, okay? If you were backpacking with anything bigger than that, it's unnecessary. Here is the bag that I used. It is the Eagle Creek Tour Travel Pack 40 liter. I love this bag. We love her. She's got nice padded straps. She's got pockets in the front. She's got a pouch to store your flat stuff. And she's got a bunch of places where you can clip things onto her. So we absolutely adore traveling with her. Something else we adore traveling with is carabiners. I love this big one to carry my shoes, but I clipped on my hat to my personal item like this, and it's just super helpful to have carabiners. This is my personal item bag that I traveled with. It's just a simple bag. I don't even remember, to be honest, where I got this bag from. But some things I liked about it, that it had nice padded straps. Things I didn't like about it is the side pockets. I love a good big side pocket that I can fit a water bottle in and this just didn't have that. But I didn't want to waste money on a whole new personal item bag when that money could be better spent on plane tickets. Let's talk about clothes. I feel like clothes is what everyone wants to hear about first. I did make a packing video before I left for Central America, so if you want, I will link it right here. This goes into specifics about like the number of t-shirts and tank tops I brought, and I talk about things in a little bit more detail there. This video is kind of just debriefing like what I liked and what I didn't like. Let's start with shirts. So this one is like a tried and true shirt. I love bringing backpacking. It's a good thick material, so it was really nice when I was in like colder parts of Guatemala and then it's just really versatile and comfy for travel days. This is my cool girl shirt that I got in Thailand last year. I love her. She's so comfy. It's so nice to travel with like an oversized shirt. You want all your clothes to be shirts that you wear a lot at home and shirts that are super comfy to grab. Just clothes in general. You want them to be super comfy because if they're not comfy, you're not going to reach for them. I just brought this little crop top. I like this one. It was comfy. Again, something that I like to grab for. I also really like shirts that I cannot wear a bra with, so that is a common theme. All of my shirts that I brought, yeah, all of them I did not have to wear a bra with, so. This t-shirt I got in my travels from Mr. Mullet's Hostel. Now, I'm not saying that this is like the number one hostel in the world and I would highly recommend it. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm serious. But I do love this shirt. <laughs> So if you want to suffer through the pain just to get a cool Mr. Mullet's tie-dyed shirt, you can do that in Guatemala. Go off. In terms of tank tops, I brought this cute little floral tank top that I really liked. This little black tank top. It's super comfy. Don't have to wear a bra. This black tank top, super comfy. Didn't have to wear a bra. I feel like I was saying the exact same thing in my last unpacking video. The floral shirt was like the only shirt that I brought that had a pattern on it. Everything else is very like neutral, no pattern, comfy, versatile, no bra. This is my one going out shirt that I bought this summer when I was in Spain or Portugal, one of those countries. But I got it from this cute shop called Pull and Bear. We don't have this in Canada. Adorable. And yes, this is like my fun going out shirt. I've been really into like browns and neutral patterns lately. I think it's cause I'm in autumn and I don't know for sure, but anyone who's into like 
color analysis, please let me know. I think I'm an autumn. Will you like confirm that for me? And the last shirt that I got along my travels is this really cute tank top that I got from um, my yoga retreat. Let's talk about pants. Let's talk about pants, baby. All right, next let's talk about all the bottoms I brought. So here they are here. Obviously, they're way more compact than they're in my bag because I use packing cubes. Very briefly, the packing cubes that I brought, these two packing cubes are like accordion style ones so they can really like cinch in your clothes and make them more compact. I'm not sure where I got these packing cubes, so I'm so sorry, but they're a pretty universal design, so you should be able to find ones similar to that. Then I had these two packing cubes from Opsbury. I've talked about in packing videos before. I like that they are different colors because then it's easy for me to spot. Oh, this one's got my shirts. This one's got my bathing suits and sports bras. You know, that sort of vibe. And then this tiny one uh, from Eagle Creek just had all my underwear in it. And my period underwear. Bring period underwear, they're a game changer. You can use them alongside other things. I love using a menstrual cup, but period underwear are great. A plus plus. Okay, let's talk about the bottoms that I brought. These are like a tried and true bottom that I love. I actually feel like they've been shrinking in recent years, so I need to like look at H&M and see if I can get another pair. But they're just these simple black pants. Again, if you watch my packing video, I talk about everything in more detail, and I actually tried them on, so you can see them on my body as well. So check that out if you want to see that. Next pants I brought were my North Face pants. I really like these. These came in such handy like because I actually slipped on a rock when I was doing a hike in Guatemala and I know that sounds like such a niche thing but like whenever you're injured it's so nice because they have the zippered bottoms so they can zip off and become shorts if you want them to be. So like when I wanted to inspect my wound I just kind of zipped off the pants and it was, I don't know. It was helpful. Did that sell you on wanting to buy pants like these? I hope it did. I brought these leggings from Lulu. Now, I love these leggings when I'm doing physical activity at home. I found I didn't reach for them that much unless I was at my yoga retreat because they're the compact Lululemon leggings. I don't know what they're called, but they're the ones that like really cinch you in. And when you wear these leggings, like it's uncomfortable to eat or like to sit or to lounge in. So I didn't really grab for them day to day. I only grabbed for them when I was doing yoga. And I just brought this normal pair of leggings. These ones are really warm, so I was able to layer them when places got a little bit cold. The main part it got cold in was Shella in Guatemala, which I actually felt very unprepared for, even though I have quite a couple pairs of pants. I just found that like, it was very cold there. And I only had one sweater, which I'll talk about in a moment. I only brought one skirt this time, and that was this black skirt. Very versatile, goes with a lot of things, and it's longer. I also only brought one pair of denim shorts this time. Um, I chose my lighter wash ones. These are from Zara. I really like them because they're high-waisted. High-waisted pairs really well with a lot of the crop shirts that I have. The reason I didn't bring two denim shorts like I did on my last backpacking trip, though, denim really does take up a lot of room, and so it's hard to squeeze down in a packing cube, so... I made a decision to only bring one, and I don't regret it because the lighter you travel, honestly, the better. Next, uh, this is one of my backpacking favorites. I brought it backpacking in the summer when I went to Europe, and I love it so much. It's this skirt from Aritzia. It's a TNA skirt, and it's so comfy. Not only is it cute and versatile and goes with everything, but it's sporty and comfortable and it has built-in pockets. Many times when I wanted to be a little bit hands-free, I would stick my phone in here. Then I got just a bunch of yoga shorts. I did go on a yoga retreat. If you watch my vlogs, you can see that. So I brought like three comfy like biker short type of vibe because I do like practicing yoga in those sorts of shorts. I took up like virtually no room in my bag and I even found myself throwing them on like when I was having an adventurous day even if I wasn't at my yoga retreat. So would highly recommend just bringing some comfy workout shorts. And then these were like my comfy shorts of this trip. Definitely recommend having just a nice pair of comfy shorts. I like these better than the comfy shorts I brought last time because these like cover my bum a bit more so I don't have to worry about my bum falling out of them. These ones I just wore to bed. Don't forget to bring comfy clothes that you'll want to wear as PJs. Now when I was in Guatemala, I went to the thrift store and I got a couple things. Um, one of which is this adorable skirt. I love this skirt so much. You guys know how I love long skirts. Literally, I showed my boyfriend a picture of the skirt when I thrifted it and he's like, that's such a Rachel skirt. And I'm like, I know. And then I also thrifted these really cute, like khaki style pants. They're like these cream colored pants. They fit like um, a capri length on me. And 
what do you call these? Like little cargo pants, and I love them. But my favorite thing about them is they actually come with a drawstring on the inside. So if it doesn't fit you that well when you button it up, you can drawstring it so it really cinches and hugs your waist properly. I really like these pants. I did wear them a couple times on my trip, and they're super versatile. The only thing I would say, don't backpack with something that's cream or light colored. I took a chance because I thrifted these and I thought they were really cute. But would I pack them on a backpacking trip? Maybe not, depends on the trip. Depends if you're gonna be rugged or not. I found Guatemala was like, it didn't even matter if you weren't having a rugged day. You would just get covered in dirt sometimes. So would I bring these if I was going back to Central America? Probably not. Would I bring them if I was like going to Europe or doing something a little more bougie and fun? Yeah, probably. And then I brought my tried and true trusted sarong. Sarongs are great to have. You can use them instead of a beach towel. You can use them to cover up if you're going to religious places. I loved having my sarong. Let's talk about what I wore on the plane. Pai hoodie that I got in Thailand last year. She's comfy, she's oversized, we love her. Other than that, on the plane, I just wore this oversized like Nike shirt. It's actually one of my dad's old shirts. I just thought this would come in handy and it did. I wore this a lot, it's like my PJ top and it was just nice to like layer under things to keep me warm. When I was in Shella, oh Shella. Shella is like the Northern Vietnam of this trip. If you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I was very much unprepared for how cold northern vietnam was and on this trip i was very much unprepared for how cold shella was in guatemala we survived but that is part of the reason why i went to the thrift store because i was like i only have one sweater and i've been an outfit repeater just wearing this sweater again and again and again for days and i'm like this is this is getting gross i couldn't even wash it because i was living with a local family that week and my spanish was not good enough to ask them if they could wash my one nasty sweater for me. And if I washed that sweater, I would have quite literally froze that night because every night it was so cold. And I found this sweater that will go down in the Hall of Fame as probably one of my favorite things I've thrifted. You know sometimes when you're at a thrift store and you see something and you're like, this is so ugly, I simply must have it. And that was me when I locked eyes with this sweater, okay? It says, it's a grandpa thing on it. Like, you're kidding. You're kidding. And it's cute because the sleeves are like this different color here and it's got a little like trim on the neck and it's super cute. It's this navy color. I loved it. What I did love is lugging it around when I was in hot Costa Rica after the fact. Be mindful if you're thrift shopping, you better have a good amount of space in your bag. Going back in time, if I could bring like a nice thermal base layer i think i would have because those are really thin but they would keep you really warm and it would have been a good option when i was in shella that wouldn't have taken up as much room i also just wore these gymshark like track pants on the plane super comfy and warm when i needed them okay what's next what's next dresses guys normally i don't bring dresses on a backpacking trip. However, I did bring my one black dress. Some women who are going on the yoga retreat with us, they were celebrating their birthday, and so I knew that one night we were all going to go out for their birthday, so I did bring one dress. Did I only wear this dress one time? Yes. Do I regret it? No, okay? Sometimes you just have these specialty moments and specialty dates in your travel plans that you have to take up some room for. And that was one of those. It is a black dress. It would have been super versatile. I probably could have saw myself wearing it a bit more maybe when I was in Panama. And then this dress is something I picked up while I was traveling. It's this adorable dress. It's like this baby doll dress and it has a plunging neckline. It fits me like a glove and it's from Pull and Bear. Remember that store I was talking about that I went to in Europe this summer? It was from there, but I found it in Guatemala. And I did wear her in Costa Rica, so I don't regret it. Sports bras, I did bring a couple sports bras, but that's because, again, I went to a yoga retreat where I was doing yoga two times a day for a week. So I needed some sports bras. In terms of bathing suits, I brought four bathing suits and one one-piece bathing suit. This is really similar to my last backpacking trip. I found this worked for me. I brought different ones or some different ones in my last backpacking trip. I brought like my favorite purple one. I brought this red one. I brought this cheetah print one. And I brought 
my brown one, which is one of my favorites. And then I brought one one-piece bathing suit. I just have this one-piece from Reformation. I'm really happy because I feel like a couple years ago, this one-piece bathing suit I bought, and it was a little bit loose on me, so it wasn't cute. But now I've, I've like filled it out, and it fits me nicely, and so... I really like it. I love green. Alongside that with clothes, I just made sure that I had a towel. I got this one in Thailand, so I can't tell you a good place to get it. But someone commented on one of my videos saying that this was like an actual popular brand. So just any microfiber towel that is very compact is amazing to have. If you've been watching my videos, you know I love this neck pillow. Kind of looking for a new one that's a little bit more compact, but not ready to give her up yet because I can't give her up for just anyone. And then I did bring my little sleeping bag liner with me again. What I did is I got my mom to sew the parts of the bag that I broke on my last trip. And I was like, yay, it's working. It's keeping my stuff contained. I love this so much. I'm so happy. And then one day on a faded bus journey in Costa Rica, that was actually a bad day that day. But that's a story for another day. It broke. The bus driver was being really not careful with my bag because this was clipped on the outside of my bag. And it freaking broke. Maybe my mom can sew this, but at that time I did not have my mommy or a sewing machine. I love having a sleeping bag liner. I found on this trip more than any trip I've been on, there were some questionable hostels that I was staying in some nights where I just found I needed this. Or even hostels were like, when else did I stay at? The blanket was like this fuzzy, thick blanket, and it was hot out. And I was like, I don't want a fuzzy, thick blanket. I want something a little bit more thin. It always just made me feel super clean and secure and cozy and safe. So, I recommend it. In my last packing video, I also talked about how the fanny pack that I had at the time was not ideal, and I was looking for a bag that could carry like my camera equipment in, and I found it. I got the Bagu bag, and I love her. I love her so much. She's nylon. Oh, I'm saying it again. She. This bag. <laughs> this bag that does not have pronouns. This bag is nylon so I can wash it if it gets dirty. It's big enough that it can actually carry one of those one liter water bottles in it if you buy one of those when you're traveling. It's got some nice pockets to separate your stuff. It fits all of my camera equipment and it's chic and it goes with everything. Okay? loved backpack with the bagu bag it was really easy to make it compact and like fold it down because i could fold it like this and just fit it in the side of my eagle creek bag and it was absolutely fine also in my eagle creek bag another purse that i brought this purse was nice to have like some nights when i was going out it's just this like mini purse i thrifted it a couple years ago it's cute it's black it goes with a lot of things i don't regret bringing this because much like the bagu bag it's super compact like i was able to fold it down and fit it in that front pocket so it virtually took up like no space girl math and then i also fit my flip-flops in this front pocket so that was really nice for shoes i brought my flip-flops which have seen better days if you can tell i think i need a new pair i brought my crocs i use these as my shower shoes i use these to walk around hostels they're super easy to slip on and off i use these on travel days like i use these at the beach crocs just are the best shoes to bring backpacking and then my third and last pair of shoes that i brought were running shoes they're like the on cloud running shoes i got them for christmas i love them so much they are the comfiest pair of running shoes i have and they're waterproof so they were great for hiking and all that stuff they're very dirty i need to clean them all right next let's talk about hats so i fit one of my hats in this tiny little pocket at the top of my bag that was just my little pink bucket hat i found i didn't reach for this hat as much as i reached for my baseball cap but it was honestly so tiny that it wasn't like crazy taking up a bunch of room in my bed. This plain bucket hat I had in my packing video, I do show how I packed everything and where everything specifically fit in my bag. So if you're interested in any of that, check it out. Check it out, check it out. Okay, so for toiletries, I brought this bag and then this bag. So this had all my makeup in it and jewelry. I tried to be super compact with makeup. I think I did pretty well. Even though this bag does look a little bit big, I was able to like squish it down because there's not a lot of stuff in here. So that was really good. I do feel the need to let everyone know. I literally put makeup on once my whole entire trip. I was gone for a month. Just, just, just think about that. 
and let that sink in when you are reflecting and self-reflecting on how much makeup you want to bring if any makeup i need to go on a backpacking trip and just not bring makeup at all because i feel like i said the exact same thing on my last trip Maybe one day, guys. Maybe one day. In here, I also put my jewelry. I just always keep my jewelry, like, in this little bag. Something I learned on this trip. See, you think you're the best at packing, but then you learn something new every time. I always get pieces of jewelry that are waterproof that mimic the jewelry that I love to wear at home. So, for example, these hoops are mimicking these hoops. These hoops that I wear at home have, like no backing to them they just clip down like that whereas these hoops that i travel with do have a backing i used to not think anything of this however on this trip i dropped the backing of my earring and i lost it thankfully i was able to find a tiny piece of an eraser to make do so i could continue wearing my hoops but something to think about when you're packing jewelry maybe i'm being too nitpicky here but i love to give all the backpacking girlies and boys my good old tips my other hoops are like this so they also don't have an earring backing so there was no piece to lose or misplace i also brought a gold chain but then i ended up buying this necklace from this really cute lady in san pedro and ever since then i haven't taken this off so basically just bring um half the things you need and buy everything else because you can buy anything i'm just kidding all right in my big toiletry bag i learned something new on this trip and that is that I really appreciate having a separate bag within the big bag that I can bring to the shower with me. And I think in the future, I need to invest in something like a shower caddy or those toiletry bags that can like hang off of something. I think those would be helpful. But this was like all my liquids for my curly hair girlies who wanted to report back. I know I'm not wearing my curls today because I'm lazy, but Having my curl conditioner was super helpful. I didn't style my hair every single day, but it was really nice when I wanted to. Something else really smart I did on this trip, I can't remember if I talked about it in my packing video or not, but I brought two mini bottles of toothpaste. Just something I noticed was really hard to find. Last time I was backpacking were like mini bottles of toothpaste. Obviously this just depends on where you are, but I thought, you know what, to be safe this time, I'm just gonna bring some mini bottles so I don't have to worry about it. Sometimes I can only find big bottles. It was so annoying. I didn't love the deodorant I brought. I tried a new one, so if anyone's got deodorant recommendations for me, let me know. Um, loved bringing my crown affair brush. It was so nice on days that I wasn't styling my hair curly because I find it's really good at like de-frizzing your hair as well. The best thing ever. If you watch my Europe packing videos from the summer, you know that I took a African net cloth for the first time backpacking and I'll never look back. Oh my gosh, I love these things. They dry so quickly. They lather up so quickly, so much so that I was traveling for a month and this is what my bar of soap looks like. I was just flying through bars of soap on my Southeast Asia trip. So I literally brought in my personal item an extra bar of soap that I never even got to because I was good. This thing lathers up so nicely. It doesn't even need that much soap to lather up so nicely. Dry so quickly so you don't have to put anything wet in your bag. The best thing to bring backpacking. Loved having my makeup removing wipe. Obviously, like I mentioned, I only wore makeup once. So, love traveling with my bonnet. Not only did it keep me warm when I was freezing in Shella, but it was good for my hair. So, something I've implemented into my routine lately. This is really disgusting, but mind you, it's because I dropped it in like volcanic ash at the top of Akintanongo. Backpacking tip I always say in my videos is to make sure that like you leave your toothbrush drying like this. Like I will sit it in another bag of mine like this and just leave it drying somewhere because if you like put it in this, it's just, it's not good. It's not good. I'll just leave it at that. My tried and true leaf shave razor. I'm interested in getting a razor with a beautiful pivoting head and one that you'll literally never have to buy in your whole entire life. You just have to buy the new blades. Check out the link in my description. And then something else that's really great to backpack with, a mirror, okay? This one's just a simple mirror that stands up like this. I love having a mirror. You just never know when you won't have access to a mirror. You're at a hostel that doesn't have a lot of mirrors. But yeah, those are the main things that I had to comment on in my cosmetic bag. Obviously, in my packing video, I talk in detail about every single thing I put in there. All right, next is my personal item bag. Now, this bag I really wanted to downsize from my last video. I like to organize my personal item bag by having like large Ziploc bags inside of it. This is just easy in case something leaks, but it's also easy to find what you need 
in a second. So I separated it this time into two main bags. This bag has all of my medication and pharmacy stuff. And then this bag has all of my electronics in it. Some highlights from each. In my electronic bag, my paper shoot camera. I was taking so many adorable photos on this my whole entire trip. So many people were asking me what this camera was, where I got it, and I didn't want to sound like you know forward or anything but i was like i do work with this company i only work with companies that i absolutely love and i absolutely love this camera so if you are interested and you also like this camera it's like a camera that takes photos that look like film the link is in my description having a portable charger was so freaking useful please do not backpack with that one other than that i just had a bunch of like just camera equipment that I use to vlog. If you haven't watched my vlogs, make sure that you check them out. I will link the playlist down below with all of my Central America content in it. And then in my pharmacy bag, um, I've just got sunscreen, bug spray, electrolytes. Electrolytes are always a lifesaver. And on this trip, ooh, I needed them. So little travel for that many stomach bugs. Other than that in here, I definitely recommend bringing Imodium. Uh, Imodium was a lifesaver for obvious reasons. Also, I had gravel in here, which was super helpful. Aspirin, because aspirin was really good when you were doing the volcano hike because it would thin out your blood and kind of prevent against getting altitude sickness. I also had my malaria pills, which I would have needed if I was in Panama. All the pharmacy stuff. I brought my rain poncho. This time I actually didn't end up needing it. And then, of course, I had my first aid kit. You definitely need one of these guys don't save room by not bringing a first aid kit that's just silly also in here i had my little notebook that i got when i was in shella because in shella i did spanish school so you needed like a little notebook and pen i just bought that when i was there so no worries about bringing one. Oh, in the front cover i feel like i still have some snacks in here i've got this granola bar that is flattened this melted kit kat this bag of peanuts that saved my life when I was on a bus ride that was very long and I had no food on it. Then on this like bottom compartment, I kept all my sunglasses. The main sunglasses I used, to be honest, were my Ray-Bans and then my Quay sunglasses. And the last but not least is my fanny pack. Now, I did bring my Lululemon fanny pack. As you can see, it's very dirty, so I think I need to throw this in the wash. Here, I had my personal alarm. Thankfully, I did not have to use this. Hand sanitizer, my aura ring. If you don't know what an aura ring is, I did make a video all about like my aura ring and stuff like that, so if you want to check it out, I will link it here. My earplugs, I always bring wired earplugs now when I travel, just because I don't want anyone to steal my AirPods, but I also myself don't want to lose my AirPods. So. And then a flat wallet is a game changer because it's so easy to fit in your fanny pack. In a lot of places, especially when I was in Guatemala, I noticed this, they would not accept your dollar bills if they were like creased or ripped or had a stain on them in any way. So make sure that you have somewhere that you can keep the money nice and pristine. Okay, I think I got everything like an hour later, but I just realized I forgot to talk about something. First off, is this bag from Patagonia. It's like a bag, a backpack. Love this. 10 out of 10. I talk about it more in my pack video, but I love this. You need to bring it on your backpacking trips. And then my snorkel. If you watched my videos before, you know I love the snorkel. And if I'm going somewhere where I can snorkel, I'm fitting this in my backpack. It's my one luxury item. It's my one toxic trait. Okay, I'm perfect in every other way other than this. I just realized I forgot to talk about it, so I'm gonna insert this clip into my video. I hope you enjoy watching my vlogs if you're someone who keeps up with my videos on my channel. If not, you should definitely consider subscribing to me. I make videos about fashion, travel, and environmentalism. Now let's talk about why I ended up coming home early. So I actually ended up ending my trip after my yoga retreat section of my trip in Costa Rica. My plan was to continue traveling Costa Rica after my yoga retreat and then move on to Panama and then come home. Essentially, the long story short is that I just yoga retreated way too hard. And what I mean by that is when you're doing a yoga retreat, especially the one I was doing, we were doing lots of ceremonies every day. We were doing two yoga practices. We were doing breath work. Essentially, I was doing a lot of emotional practices and ceremonies in which I was emotionally releasing a lot. I feel as though when you are backpacking, you need a lot of emotional strength 
to be able to backpack and to backpack solo. After I had all these emotional experiences, I was left feeling emotionally vulnerable and very raw. I was having these thoughts of, do I want to end my trip early? And anyone who knows me personally knows that that is something that I never say, like ever. So maybe I'm just growing up or maybe it was just something to note about myself and to be gentle with myself and to take the time to come home. These trips that I do are just for my own leisure and my own enjoyment. I knew that I wasn't gonna be fully enjoying it and fully immersed in what I was doing and present in the moment. And so I said, you know what? Let's circle back and do Panama another time. There are so many countries in Central America that I wanna go back to. Panama, El Salvador, Belize, Nicaragua. And so there's always the option for me to go back to those countries when I'm gonna be in a better place and I can fully enjoy them and be in the moment. I mean, I will be traveling again in like two months, so. <laughs> it's not the end of my travel days, guys, don't worry. Also, I'm kind of looking forward to being home for a little bit at least so I can make some fashion content. I feel like I've been so focused on traveling these last couple years that I actually haven't made like a fashion video or a proper fashion video in a while. If you do like fashion, uh, let me know in the comments because maybe you'll stick around and want to see some of my fashion videos. I always say in my videos, my channel isn't just solely focused on travel, so I'm excited to kind of explore like the other interests in my life while I'm home. And then of course, uh, get back to traveling in like a month. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. I love interacting with you guys in the comments. That is all for this video and I'll see you next week. Bye.